Good morning, everybody. This is John Seville from Acorn Wealth, and this is your executive summary for Thursday. And um, we are going to kick things off. Let's get straight into things. The S&P 500, another uh, nice, uh, well, a stable drop today. Uh, we've got a bit of an inside day. You can see the volume uh, yesterday with 3.82 billion, today 3.2. So just kind of dried up a little bit. The futures at the moment uh, are looking kind of flat. So uh, we're, we're getting a bit of consolidation, but uh, all good. Because what we can see is that the uh, if we have a look at the, the S&P's pattern, we broke down out of this downward channel. and you can, So therefore, we break the channel. That means where this vertical line is, where that channel ends, a new one begins. So we start looking at the characteristics of what's happening now, and we can see that we've come from oscillation, and now we have the early signs of momentum. You can see that the five and nine day moving average, these two lines here, these two lines kind of curling over, five and nine day exponential, are holding the S&P down great. So what we want to see, ideally, is that is we, we, we can see taps on that, but if those moving averages hold strong, this could be the uh, the break that we're looking for uh, down to that 1800 target on the S&P to continue the bear flag. So um, as you can see in those flags uh, previously, that's exactly what happened. You can see that the basically, let me take some of these other averages off that don't mean a whole lot right now. Um, we take all that off to take that off. All right. So you can see just the nine and five day holding it down, straight down after that little curl over. That's what we want to see here. Curl over, straight down. Um, okay, so um, uh, at the moment, still under open range, so still good. Uh, let's have a quick look at the highlights uh, from last night, and then I'll tell you about a couple of new ones. So um, obviously, uh, SNI uh, was, uh, was a new stock from last night. I purchased puts on this today, uh, December... $45, was that? Um, yeah, December $45 puts I bought today. Um, and um, this has had a beautiful drop. We talked about it as a stock or option play last night. Uh, dropped 3.2% today. So really happy with that. Uh, after, obviously, after not being able to break through the moving averages. Uh, the big performer today was AVH. Now, previously along... Um, that we highlighted last night in trading room and said, look, we would kill this one uh, and take profit and actually short this. Um, and today it dropped 7.55%. Um, so whether you uh, took shorts on the stock or whether you bought puts or whatever, um, that was a lovely drop. And this one's probably got a lot further to go. Uh, so AVH, and that's what the, the beauty of being a trader. We went from saying, thinking this could go ra rally up 20, 30%. Uh, the, the technicals changed and it's that quick. It goes from being a great long to a great short. And, uh, and there's the evidence of that. So um, hopefully people were able to use that uh, to their advantage today. PII, another recent alert that we uh, had mentioned we were purchasing options on. We bought them from around $3.90, closed at $4.50-ish today. I can't remember exactly, but basically about, up about 30% after a significant drop today. So again, that looks really good also. Now, it may have a little bit of a dead cap bounce here. So if you're a complete conservative, you may take profits. If it doesn't break through tomorrow and then get in after it breaks down below 120, you're risking about, you know, losing about a dollar of profit to gain the probability, or you might just hold on to it. I'm going to hold on to it because they're longer term puts, um, and I'm happy just to ride the storm, but I would expect a potential rally up to around 124, so it depends on how much you want to kind of scrape every bit of profit you can out of that by trading it in a real short term. Um, uh, ACAT, which was also one of our rec um, um, our alerts, uh, well, a couple of weeks ago, as a, well, maybe it was just a week ago, I, but it was ACAT. We said, look, this looks like a good short for a stock position as it was breaking down below 25, and uh, that was a beautiful drop now over these last two days. Um, it, this this also will probably to, uh, to continue. Um, and you can see that that, uh, uh, that will be the next support it needs to break to break a new low. So again, um, we'll already pick this as a short at 25. Um, so it's already up about 8% or down 8% or so. Um, but if it breaks below uh, uh, 23.45, then that's going to be a, a, an, an another uh, possible short entry uh, or a uh, rally into the moving average, obviously, at, uh, at uh, 24.30. <clears throat> Or well, 2428, so we say 2423. There's ACAT. Um, I mean, a lot of the other ones have just done really, really well today as well. Cree, EXPR, ZLTQ. 
Um, despite the market being flat, these stocks certainly didn't stay sta they stay standing. They just kept dropping, which is exactly what we wanted. Um, so all these, obviously, we touched on last night. We mentioned ZLTQ, still a valid short, um, and uh, and that, uh, that so it rallied up into the short uh, entry uh, up into 36.50 and just dropped like a rock. NSR we mentioned last night, also still a short from a stock or option standpoint, and uh, that one performed really well today as well. Uh, you can see this coming up on the chart, so it just kind of held there, um, right in that kind of a perfect zone, So, but didn't break its moving averages. So, I mean, really, really, really happy with everything so far. Um, okay, so yeah, so everything doing really well, and then in fact, and despite all that, the one that we picked as a long last night, CEMP, did well. It went up. Again, that's just, uh, and I, we found this through one of the, uh, the, the um, uh, our, our room last night. Um, so, uh, good find. Um, and CEMP, you can see, rally up out of a downward channel or a dis or a um, inverted head and shoulders is also what we talked about. The kind of left shoulder, head, right shoulder, a uh, bit more advanced, a bit more complex. Um, and we talked about this at length in trading room, I believe. Um, and yeah, rallied up, pulled back, and that had a nice uh, had a nice rally, bouncing off the trend line around 34, closing at 36. If you were um, uh, on the ball there and got around, got in around 34, you'd already be up significantly. Because intraday, I mean, that's a two dollar rally on a three dollar, uh, three dollar, thirty six dollar stock. So you're talking about um, over five percent of intraday a low to high. So that looks great, um, and that uh, has resiliency in the market. So um, there was the long. The new one um, for uh, tonight is AAN, Aaron's. And uh, this has got, uh, just found this by chance doing the scans and uh, t teaching the lesson today. Um, you can see that, uh, great lesson by the way, everyone who came in. It was our first lesson for patterns and probabilities. Was was wicked. Thank you for everyone who showed up. Uh, and this was what we found in this lesson talking about um, oscillating stocks. Uh, Aaron's is a, pu a purely oscillating stock coming out of an expanding range triangle, um, uh, that which is uh, stopped working. You can see it didn't get to the highs it normally did. Uh, you can see it started to consolidate now in a new pattern after the one, two, three touches on support, one, two, three touches on this resistance line. It shifted personality. Something new is happening here. Of course, that was also um, um, uh, mirrored by this uh, uh, this drop below the support line that was meant to stop it, didn't stop it, went through, and now we've got this rising wedge. So rising wedges, of course, are a bearish pattern. So I would look at this as a possible short if it drops below 37.25 down to 34.07, or I'd look for it to rally up. That'd be a godsend if it could rally up to 39.85. You get one last chance to scoop it up at the top of the channel. Beautiful. Um, and then I'd still have the same target of 34.07. And that is your executive summary. You have a wonderful day. And the, uh, the announcement we've all been waiting for will be coming tonight in trading room. So uh, um, for all of you uh, members on your trial and gold members, I've been talking about a special announcement um, for, uh, for, uh, to say thank you to uh, everyone. Uh, and I uh, hope everyone's really enjoying all these executive summaries and results we've seen. Uh, so um, we'll have a nice uh, announcement for you tonight. So do make sure you, uh, you jump into the trading room. Uh, and if you don't hit the trading room, watch for the recording. Um, thank you for your business. We look forward to seeing you tonight. Take care.